Take a picture, next time clouds eclipse the sun. We praise the persistence of our memories, but there's still summer yet to come. The beauty is that only when they're wet do the gutters care to talk. Youth, a time-lapse sunflower blooming from the sidewalk. Surely we all will wither in the winters of our lives, but time is a house cat basking in the sunshine, saying, don't keep your secrets hidden. The spring was just a kid till summer came and got him. Days were lighter fluid, charcoal, and then the taste of autumn. And there's a shiver to the air. And nature takes that hairpin turn, tumbling car crash, but hopefully we're all too drunk in love to care. Let us cement ourselves together like this heat will never last, and nor will any night. I learned to inhale light and blow the dark thoughts to balloons. Release them through the stratosphere and then wrap myself cocoon to wait for the kiss of sunrise. Paint me in numbers across the sky. Draw me dyslexic constructions where every line wavers Van Gogh. Break yourself down into the brush strokes to something you don't understand but is still beautiful to look at and be a part of. Life is the art of existence. Every force needs resistance, and we are all Nick Walenda walking tightrope across the Grand Canyon with no harness but the moon. It is pulling at the potential of the water within us all. To us focused on flying, there's no fear of falling, no rush like freedom, and no freedom like losing control. And isn't this what it's like to grow old, blowing dandelion in the breeze, reminiscing on scraped elbows and knees? Life is measured in the gap between heartbeats, you are harping the strings of my lifeline. I like it, touch me tender, take my bass notes for a walk, then fall silent. I want to feel you like first snow touching the ground, and cover every surface with that country lap steel sound. This heart, this honeycomb that forces nectar through my veins, feel this flesh full of taste buds and how it wraps my bones and brain. We are all subject to the tug of sibling seasons, a gradient just gentle enough to notice. And I know that this Polaroid portrait of ours will soon come softly into focus, that it and we all will one day fade. But life was made to be temporary, so let's love all that we can today. Hold me like Arizona sky clings onto the sunset. Never let go of the ashes that you've grown from. And the next time I look into your eyes, I expect to see nothing less than all the pain you felt since last we parted. I'm just getting started. So take another picture, paste it to the back of the scrapbook of your brain. Yeah, we play with different instruments, but the songs remain the same. Never be afraid to start rolling, because movement is the catalyst of change, and adaptability has always been our most dominant trait. Thank you all for having me here. It's really cool to be here. Like, I appreciate the opportunity. I especially feel grateful to be like sandwiched between two poets that I really love and like admire their work. So like, thank you, Brandon, for like curating this thing. Thank you, Lan, for having us. I'm just gonna get a little sensitive and emotional in the middle, and then uh, let these other poets do their thing. <laughs> I've been finding fortunes in odd places lately. And one of them even said, there's excitement to be found wherever you go. And wisdom is a katana kept in a sheath. But wisdom is not something you seek. You make time for it, or room in your mind's forest. But how wise is wise? And do you ever get too happy? Wonder if the scales and balance of bliss have tipped in your favor. Our open-eyed earth has too many flavors not to be amazed by what is. We live on an orb where octopus exists. I like to think that I am that flexible, to change my color at will, and know the ink that I've spilled is all in the past, creased between pages or written on walls, but not all ideas weather well, and you are casting some spell. My tender tentacles taste sunshine through the sand. Crystallized tendrils again begin branching. I feel fully fluid, and I see you, orange tree in bloom, the perfect parts sweet, meeting sour, it's true, every flower knows gloom, but every life has the power to reinvent itself. So pollinate your pain. I will kiss you on the sugar skull softly. You ground me like coffee, but charm me to the stars. Do you feel for every prisoner ever caught behind bars? Because there's pain in your eyes. 
I sure hope that this joy that we're crying for does a taste of the sea. Stretch me, saltwater taffy. Let me stick to your fingers, but not to your teeth. Your crests curve like white smoke with ocean beneath. Never hesitate to sink. I will nestle in your wreckage, caress you with 6,000 suction cups. I'm storing up good times, swelling Sararo, spreading out my roots to catch all your downfall. I don't want to miss a drop because this desert knows the bittersweet salt of the ocean and how a sorceress like you can potion flash blood. You turn droughts into mud. Remind these fossils of blood and how our bones will bud blossoms that last longer than spring. This is a citrus ring octopus love song I sing, offering you eight arms of warmth. And I wonder why we shelter storms when we could dance barefoot naked through summer monsoons. Kiss me like bloom. I will wilt as you withdraw, dog-earing every one of my little flaws to laugh about later throughout this Rolodex of night and day skies. From pure love comes wisdom, but how wise is wise. Really nice to have a platform outside of uh, competitive slam poetry to show. Yes. So thank you, like, I feel like you can breathe a little bit and like, you know, it always takes the first poem or two to get get the nerves out anyway, so thanks. Those were just the one, you know. But I, I appreciate the opportunity to the, kind of go a little bit further in depth about some things too, like poetically, and kind of oriented my set around that a little bit. Like, just I think as artists and creators, we kind of can plateau in certain times in life, like you definitely know when you level up and then maybe you're stagnant for a while. And for me, performance poetry's had a lot of those ups and downs where like every time I get exposed to this great community or something so much bigger than ourselves and you just hear hundreds and hundreds of poems, you can't help but really like level up from that. And I'm grateful to have had that many times in my life over the past decade and a half. So um, one thing that really changed for me, like Personally, it was after my first National Poetry Slam in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, had the opportunity to go there and just blew my mind, absolutely. Like, so this is something I wrote. I feel like everything before that trip was just never gonna be good enough again. So everything after, like, I don't know, there's a few that I can still do from around that era, like, but this is the post-National Trip poem that I wrote, like, one of the first one or two. It's still okay in my mind. <laughs> a little goofy. The rhymes are different now. I just I like the more internal rhymes, something a little more subtle, but still alright. I breathe the language of these streets. My feet are aware of how concrete affects evolution. My veins are well versed in vandalism, and this grammar is graffiti fit to spit over downtown city street districts. But I listen with the discipline of dumpster divers sifting through garbage truck treasures of whatever's been left behind. I live like life stuck in rewind. Life stuck in rewind. Life stuck in rewind. And somewhere in time, I am a thrift store theremin master, managing telekinetic disasters of 1970s chic. This poem is antiques meeting plastic pianos. Our circuits bent on disproving this world is round. So crank your voice box. Make sounds. It's OK to be cracked here. Open hearts are where wonder is found, and it's astounding just being here. You made it, all odds to date overcome. Any obstacles are enemies in a fight that we've already won. My songs are sung sincerely, and I can see crystal ball clearly that nearly all evidence is circumstantial, and that coincidences are substantial factors affecting our lives. So keep your ears sharp like knives, and a tongue like twisted metal, mercy. Your silence counts sheep. Know that no step is too steep when we've met moderation. Bungee jump into REM sleep vacations, away from these asphalt amalgamations of modernity. The breath in our lungs is all that we know of eternity. So turn the key, break down the door. There's no waiting, no more. This life is flash like a flood. Lightning bug blood bubbling. A bright bulb's blinding burnout about to fade in from white. So let's love like first sight's finding focus. And every day is Halloween if we believe in hocus pocus. So let this poem be your trick or treat two weeks notice too soon. I am a July bug in June, unfathomably fated to be fashionably late. 
but in tune. My clock beats the poetry's time. I live like life stuck in rewind. Life stuck in rewind. I breathe these streets like language. And the breath of this moment is mine. I, I got spoiled like early on once I started memorizing poems, like my first year of doing performance stuff. Because uh, back then I could write something and pretty much have it memorized at the same time. So other pieces you have to work on for a long time, years, and it's whittling away at something. It's never quite right until a certain point. And this next one is one of these pieces that I worked on and had to revisit years later and I'm kind of happy with it. So even though the idea is kind of old, I'm happy with what it's become. Glad to be Every year I look down at the dead leaves of old ideas and rake them into piles. This year, I'm looking up at those still to fall. My mind is a balding tree in winter, continually casting its dead weight aside. And some of my thoughts are as slender as single ply. Just like that, another page crumples in the hands of a creator. A blank slate is enough to intimidate any author, and an empty bed often symbolizes a life not worth living. But each of us completes ourselves, and it's just hard to see the other side of our circle from right here and now and I can't seem to write anything down. Fluidity has drowned the writer in me. I am an amplifier expelling honest thoughts inspired by my own exhaustion. And here we go again, forever like it never stops because it doesn't. Honeybees, always busy buzzing. Full time is more than 40 hours a week. It's still less than minimum wage after taxes. <laughs> night, most nights, my backache has its own accent. Everything worthwhile has been up-priced and shrink-wrapped in plastic to keep us poor hungry. And I'm wondering if we can do better than this day by day, paycheck to paycheck to checkmate, bowing to the crowns of money and things. But through all my blisters and broken strings I write on, I'm creating a hymnal to hum between smoke breaks. I'm trying to undo all of the apologies that fall on empty ears to forget all of the half-hearted thank yous stuck like gum beneath worn-out souls. I trudge through, let my in-breath cleanse me and every sigh will thread me through. Stress is a blanket to shake off like dead leaves or old ideas. Be ready to harvest the moments that matter most. The good times are ripe and upon us. I gotta tell myself congratulations every once in a while for making it this far. And I don't think any of us look too bad considering that most of the silver linings we've been promised and the copper wiring from our would-be dream homes has been stripped and sold for less than it's worth. Cheers for not throwing in the towel the last time you were three sheets to the wind and whispering secret slurs. It's hard to know what you want in this world. It's harder to remember that we should not want if it is the root of evil thought. But is it not the most natural response a living creature has? Is it selfish of a flower to yearn for the sun? None of us was born guilty. We all ended up here. It's like eternity has just begun and we're already at each other's throats. So this is a hallelujah for those who make worlds with the flick of their wrists, for those who realize what a wild circumstance it is to exist. The next time you feel inspired, remember that you have touched upon something holy, that you carry that with you, always. Writing is funny, like there's so many stages to it, and writing for a stage and poetry is so weird because like ultimately I'm grinding for like who knows, years sometimes obviously, making these pieces and then like just one day you can share it with people. So thanks for being on the other end of this poem that's you know had whatever put into it. And that's kind of the beauty of performing to me. Like everybody brings something different with every poem. Every poetry song I've ever been to is unique and I take something different from it. So. Go to more poetry slams, let's do this. <laughs> this is a, a piece I wrote for this this evening um, based on wants and needs. I hate to do things off the phone or this fresh because it's not right for me if it's not fully like memorized coming up. I'm like one of those poets. Um, <laughs> be extra vulnerable and uh, do, do this poem for Brand. <laughs> How long does it take yourself to trust yourself enough to be honest? We hide so much behind masks and get dizzy with daily distractions, and I want to be consumed by the present. Sure, wrapped in the comfort of knowing I am transparent, we, but we all shapeshift, liquid imitating God in our image. 
Fluidity is change in truth, the voice of my vulnerability, comfort in the absence of armor. I wish for the strength for all of us to adapt in the face of adversity, but it often occurs to me to get by with less. I want to waste not, but I am well acquainted with hunger, still mastering dinner on a dime to get by. I need a better job and the will to compete. I ought to eat and act like this vessel is valuable. I wish this one shot wasn't so saddled with sorrow, but blue dreams make these moments matter. It's tricky when wants become needs. My Venus in Scorpio feeds my empathy for the devil. I am doubting and doubling down on daydreams. We must break the seal of silence while the veil is thin. When will we ever be clean of capitalism's clutches? I want to wash my hands of these dirty dollar dealings. There is so much in this world, but there is no such thing I know of as an honest living here where they can modify compassion, outprice our existence. Our resistance is necessary in our survival between assimilation and asphyxiation. Remember what green really matters. And I'm lost again and found in the flowers. We are a fairy fountain of youth. Old souls need new blood and ideas, so keep an open window, a third eye out for unexpected energy, and send for me when the cipher sings of seance. If you've ever been truly loved, then that is to live forever, and I will always be around, just off the grid of your good grief, so speak to me in monarch migrations, as you bring out the bloom in the best of us. stuff is so fun. I feel like I really learn a lot by doing things in front of people and that's kind of like an integral part of the writing process for me which is weird because it's like you can't, it's like a paradox, you know, you can't perform it if it's not done, but if it's not done, you don't perform it. So. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to make a mess of whatever stuff this is up here. Call it home for a few more minutes. I just want to read a few out of this book that I have tonight. I have this thing going where I would try to record a little poem as often as I could. I wasn't too regular about it, like every day, but I would do it a couple times a week and just record as long as they would let me, which is like 15 seconds, and then that expanded with time. But every page in this book is pretty much another entry in what I was doing at the time. Just like a really easy little project, at least like putting all them together into a book was very convenient. So. If you want to take some, some home with you, little meditations. Mm -hmm. okay. Chasing paychecks will lead us to little more than a fancy funeral we can't afford in some overpriced casket. Take me back to something green. Hollow out my Saguaro Heart Hotel and watch the sunflowers bloom. Whoosh of the dandelion seeds as we make another wish. Add another memory to our treasured chests. Let's celebrate this eclectic collection of moments that make us up. And I am learning to praise my battle scars, celebrating the countless times I almost died but didn't. There is no mile marker as honest as the proof of an open wound come to heal. Life is an exercise in impermanence and improbability. We are a study of stunning statistics in which against all odds we exist as patterns pressed against each other in such chaotic combinations that it kind of works. Something is reaching out from the static, speaking in spirals, weaving our common threads into the webs that catch our attention. Focus is everything. You are the key and the engine that's running on 10% diluted daydreams, tumbling towards blue moons and lucidity on the horizon. We are in love with our illusions fantasizing reality, fetishizing normalcy as if it exists. The pit of our stomachs wants to be orchard, its tickle hauntingly familiar, a place we've known only in dreams. And I've seen a light. I want to teach my friends to fly, to depend less on the tether of gravity, to forget the frustrations of physics as we reinvent our outcomes, running just right for the breeze to catch our kite strings and carry us to wherever our moon boots land next. Thank you. It's interesting, you know, how you write something and it's really kind of for yourself when you're writing it. 
And like I kind of mentioned earlier, that availability to eventually take that to share with other people is really special. And sometimes that kind of gives it new meaning in yourself, you know? So I think I learned from my own poems, you know, as much as like anybody else might pick up from it. It's like a learning experience every time. But, um, this next one is kind of like a running eulogy for just like, I feel like it holds place for several friends of mine who have passed away in the last couple of years. And it just reminds me of different people, but it's all kind of one uniform thing, you know, because I guess I am the lens for all that. And it's another one that is kind of newer for me to memorize, so um, still learning it a lot as I go. Hopefully. Every good party needs a wallflower to stand witness and materialize memories as we alchemize the ether. I am the smoke in your lungs as you inhale. Hold me close, tighter still, until you're ready to let me go. Pass me on like a tradition. Burn me to the curtain like a church fire. If these walls could talk, they would be artists leaning on each other because we're too unstable to stand on our own. But we are all rhinestones on Bootsy Collins space base, communicating through beams of light. Open your heart and all will be made shown. I'm reflective of the unknown, receptive of that shown through me. And sometimes the way my prism breaks allows me to see the way the multiverse wavers. I feel it every time the walls breathe or poets speak that we are made of this energy unstoppable, something that's not created or destroyed. Like life's a party that never ends. And when daylight comes, we are reborn again. So what does time matter? Is it the return of retrograde or the second coming of Saturn? Tonight's the night that we come back to ourselves and to each other. So let's reach out from this half circle seance to speak with loves lost and found. This is the sound of your own frequency. So freak with me, because you too resonate with love and light. So be loud, breathe deep tonight. We owe it to those quiet ghosts we still carry with us. Tonight, a thousand shared blunts are burning backwards as Swisher sweets suture themselves back together. Liquor returns to bottles and brown bags, and we are as sober as if we'd been hit by the news of another passing too soon. Every time I close my eyes, I'm visited by loved ones who have left this world for the next. And I'm blessed to be visited by familiar faces in uncertain times. But the rewind button's broken. And at best, all we can do is pause to enjoy this scene and all its imperfections. For too soon, we fast forward toward tomorrow. All time is borrowed and will be returned. So I'll burn another ounce to buy another hour. I'll be the smoke in your lungs and you the ghost of a wallflower. It's really cool to do extended sets uh, for people and the fact that y'all came out to listen means a lot. So thanks everybody for being a part of this. I have one more, just a short little poem. Now, um, I guess some backstory on it since we're doing that. Uh, <laughs> I wrote this poem walking around a neighborhood that I was living in in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, I was literally walking and sort of, I didn't even stop to jot things down, it was just like a mess on this page, but literally like a whole open notebook worth of paper. I wrote this one poem and it's like a really pure thing, so let's escape from this heat in the valley for just a little bit. Let's go on a little stroll through Flagstaff. <laughs> go on, grasshopper, unsheath those wings. Can you sing like the power lines and buzzes like you mean it? I want to kiss your cheeks the way charcoal does paper. No plastic. It's too late to look back. We've already been turned on, accidentally electric. We are the products of coincidental kinetics. Synapse branches snap silently in the woods. If our curse was of wax, then would you fly if you could? My honesty is pine needle naked. I'm all white sheets and no blanket. Love needs a matchstick to start. The black of your pupils holds a map to your heart beautifully burnt around the edges, curled at the corners. Your chest is full of bright gems and new quarters that shine of a solar flare fantasy, treasure that's yours alone to behold. Wanders exist to be sold, but we all seek the warmth to be held. So go on, sing silly secrets, converse with crick and chertos in lieu of a moonbeam. Make a museum of your memories. Be careful with the keys. Tie up your tongue, wring it out to dry. Close pin your miseries, then leave them on the line. We are too great to be good, so don't stop at content. 
And if that's understood, then feel free to commence, because tonight is your life. This place is your paradise. Unfold your antennas and sing songs towards next twilight. Thank you.